our next email topic today. This is our third email. Bam! This is a longer one, so I got to take my breath. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, I got to watching your latest live stream late. That's fine. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I was thinking about the Batman and the possibility of the Joker in it. Everyone seems to be thinking about that. Uh, do you think the Joaquin Phoenix Joker is the Joker in this world? And at the same, and as time goes on, he was slowly forgotten about. And uh, BK, I'm just going to say BK, Barry Cohen becomes obsessed with the urban legend of the Joker and picks up the mantle. And if the internals guys isn't playing him, who would your choice to play the Joker in the Batman? Thanks, Miguel. A. Thanks, Miguel. Barry, let's start with you. The Joker. <laughs> look, the Joker is. Uh, I. I actually really, really enjoy that movie, The Joker. Um, I don't think that this that that universe is in this universe whatsoever. But Barry, I'm going to let you start with it. Oh, I don't know enough <laughs> to comment accurately. Um, I don't think. But but you haven't seen. Here's the thing. You haven't seen the Batman. I haven't seen it. So you know. You have you seen the Joker? Yeah. Yeah, so you know as much as I do. So just speculate away and mm. <laughs> let's hear what you have to say about it. Again, uh, I don't know. I think his portrayal is probably one of the best Jokers we've received, and it would be entertaining. Um, but I'm just curious to how DC's doing it. Again, in a Marvel way of things, I could see them using Joaquin Phoenix as that Joker in this new reiteration. But again, DC's kind of... like It seems like they throw a lot of things at the wall and see what sticks. Um, I think it's an interesting concept. Um, for someone to kind of pick up the mantle of the Joker. Um, I'm not too educated on the comics, so I'd be curious to know if there was a rendition of that already, and if there is, yeah, let's incorporate that. Um, Rob, let's see. Rob you, know the, you know more comics, Rob. Yeah. Well, is yeah. There, well, is there... well I, again, there's so many different versions of it that I can think of. I, I can't think of one off the top of my head that is like that, but of course there are, like, you know, multiple versions of the Joker where they do it, where there's a, you know, um, the, in the uh, Flashpoint universe, right there, that's that's one where where uh, Martha Wayne is Joker and stuff like that. So they could literally do whatever they want. I mean, um, it would be interesting, very much, and like, uh, similar to uh, Barry, how you how you said it's like I do think that performance Joaquin does in that movie is one of the best ones. Like it's right up there with Heath, I think. But, uh, you know, the only reason why I can't put it as high as Heath is the fact that he doesn't have a Batman to play off of. Right. 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 Uh, uh, like if 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 one day Joaquin Phoenix play off of a Batman, that would be that would be my uh, real comparison point as to whether uh, he could be as good as uh, as Heath is. But um yeah, at, whether I think it will actually be, uh, he'll, they'll do it. They'll do it. I doubt it. I mean, they're already talking about like you know a Joker two with uh, Todd Phillips, right, coming back to direct and and so forth. So I'm I, if I'm betting on it, they they probably want themselves another Oscar. That's why they probably want to do that one. So I'm I, I imagine they're gonna they're gonna keep that uh, separate altogether. But um, if Barry, uh, I I thought it's Barry Keegan, I think. Uh, because uh, I, I think it's just like senior, similar to that uh, girl that's in uh, Belfast, C C Katrina Belf. She has like an O in it. I think the O's are just basically si silent. In uh, I thought Irish. it was Keegan that's too, but then I heard people say uh, it's not Ke Kehan. 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 Okay. Kehan. Well, so I don't I, know. If, if that's the case, then I have no idea. But uh, yeah, it, what, if it's not very uh, Kehan, Keegan. Hoogan or whatever his name is. Uh, <laughs> if it's not him, I mean, they they got a litany of uh, actors that they could uh, come, come in to bring the Joker. For me personally, I just hope that Jared Little's not one of them. Uh, but <laughs> that's just me. Um, yeah, uh, Barry Keegan. Why not? Like I, I thought he was one of the better better parts of Eternal. So I think he's a very solid actor. Barry, who would be your choice to play the to play the Joker in this new rendition of Batman? Having not seen it, it's tough because you don't know what the the mood is like. Dan, I'm going to go Joaquin Phoenix. I mean, again, I would have said Heath Ledger, but he's not here with us anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. But I think that's where you win, and <clears throat> I think the dynamic is a little interesting. The fact how the age difference. So you've got a young Batman with. Rob Patterson, and now you've got Joaquin Phoenix, who's really an aged Joker. So I'm interested to see the dynamic here, the conflict, you know, the father-son sort of riding 
into it. And again, both tragic stories and the fact that Joker went one way, Batman went the other. Now you bring in the element of different generations and generational problems. That to me would be a pretty exciting story to kind of see in our present day and age, kind of the mistakes and successes of each generation in conflict. And you could play that out within the Joker and Batman themselves. I like the idea that the Joker existed in this universe. And as time goes on, they kind of forgot about him. Like the Ghostbusters, they forgot about who the Joker was. But this new this new kid comes up, this young adult comes up, and he's like, he knows he's heard the stories, and he incorporates his own madness into being that. And maybe he's a little bit more diabolical than the Joker we got in Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. I don't think that's how it's going to play out in the Batman, but I think that's a really intriguing a plot device to use for that character because the joke the thing with the joker too is you know we do videos on this channel and we have conversations and the, the ones that really click with people are the ones about the joker people want the joker they're like let's get the joker where's the joker is the joker in the batman the joker's gotta be the batman that's all anybody wants and then at this uh, but the flip side of that is everybody says they keep using the joker it's like you can't win either you use the joker too much or you haven't used the joker one or the other and i think this is a great way to incorporate a joker that we all know into a movie and then that will have a new Joker and because the thing with the Joker that's so great is there's no real true backstory on the character. There's been mm -hmm. different iterations of it and people are, you're able to play with it as much as you want. He could be a nobody. He could be dropped into a vat of acid. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want with him. And so the idea of this, uh, of, of BK, <laughs> the actor from the eternal <laughs> Dunkirk, <laughs> Barry Keegan, Burger, Keegan, Burger King, Burger King, Burger King. The idea that, that he could be the Joker, but he's a Joker based on a previous Joker, I think that's a, that is as intriguing as any other Joker we've gotten, to be honest with you, because it's like, now what's going through this person's head where they're mimicking this, but they're their own diabolical individual. I think it's fascinating. I think if I had to pick an actor to play the Joker in this day and age, I have no idea. There's so many. There's, there's so many so good many. actors. There's so many good actors around. And that's... And, and that's the thing is even when we talk about somebody like Heath, like that was an out of, out of nowhere, you know, uh, casting choice. And he turned out being, you know, amazing. One of the best villains of all time. And, uh, Do you remember and, when and they announced Heath Ledger as a Joker? Do you guys remember that? It was, Joke the, back you know, was like, <laughs> there was like all these, like, but there were like these candles you had to like burn leading up to like Halloween. I think it was. And you burned all these candles and they revealed his face. They announced him as a Joker and everyone hated it. Then they showed that image. That first image they showed of him was one of the, that's one of the most iconic images of all time. That being said, Jack Nicholson is my favorite Joker. And I don't care what you say. Oh, well, the <laughs> chat recommended uh, William Defoe from Arnold. I think that's an awesome choice. Again, his portrayal of the Green Goblin after, because I went back and rewatched everything after I watched No Way Home, and I was like, wow, I didn't realize how incredible of a villain he was at the time when I was a kid. Now seeing it, you know, him being the main spotlight, I think that's an interesting choice, Arnold. I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very interesting choice. I think for me, I would say that maybe uh, that would prove, like, if he could somehow uh, do the Joker and, like, significantly split them apart from green goblin where you could see their completely two different performances. That would be, you know, amazing. My only thing would be is I think that if he was the Joker, you'd see too much green goblin in his Joker. Probably that's my, own, that would be my only thought process about it. That could be, I think that this is, I like the idea of Defoe. My problem with Defoe Adam Driver. is, is yeah oh casey whole adam driver my problem with the foe is the fact that he is the green goblin and he crushes it as the green goblin and do we need the same at what point can we stop recycling the same actors over and over again i, I mean defoe's a great actor but you know it's like come on let's just although defoe is the joker if you guys haven't seen the lighthouse with defoe and pattinson Weird movie, you might not enjoy it, but their performances are ecstatic, and those two together in a room yelling at each other, give me that all day. You know what I'm in. Let's do it. Let's put those two, because because I am all about that. I think, is Mr. Rez saying yes to Adam Driver? He's, I'm the job, but no one knows how to make you laugh. But it was for Jack. But I do. Oh, it's for Jack. Okay, yeah.